just in general, our Lake Point game fees are based on our time as they have been in the past. Um, so uh, our two-hour time limit games will, will be at $64 and, and our 145s will be at uh, $50. So that's no change from last year. I know just the way the season went, we didn't really have a, a ton of 145s out there. Um, but that will be our, our procedure. And, and certainly from a, from a standpoint of Lake Point and PBR, I, I truly appreciate, and I know all the umpires do too, uh, them working with us to, to compensate us when in those long uh, Atlanta rain delays and, and lightning delays when, when we stick around. So, um, again, it's great to have a, a partner who understands that, certainly wants um, us to be around when – when the lightning does stop, but understands that, you know, some days we, we stop at 6 o'clock and we sit there till 10, 1030, and, and we do appreciate that, and it's good to have a partner like that. So, guys, just, just to cover a couple of things uh, that the PBR staff at Lake Points asked me to touch on, make sure that you're coming in the back gate, the umpire gate off of Star's Way, and you're not going in through their maintenance facility. Um, we're going to have some new trash receptacles around the, the locker room, so let's make sure that we get our trash in that. We're going to have a butt can for cigarettes, cigar butts. Let's make sure that those all go in the sand bucket. Um, and then one of the big things is on the field. Let's make sure that we get our trash and our water bottles off the field when we come off the field. Um, it it kind of turned into an issue uh, early in the fall where water bottles were just getting left there on the field. And, um, you know, so let's just make sure that we're cleaning up after ourselves there on the field, cleaning up after ourselves in the locker room. Um, you know, if you spill something, get it up. Make sure the trash goes in the trash can. Yeah, I think we did a great job of everybody kind of doing what they needed to do last year and taking the trash out as it needed to happen and, and cleaning up behind their cells. Uh, I've talked with Matt and Kyle at PBR, and they're looking into a porta potty Then we're also going to have a, a, a golf cart that we will be able to use if, if we need to. And what I would, you know, if we can get to a point to where we don't need to use the bathrooms in the tower and we have time to put you in a golf cart and take you around to the other bathroom facility that's outside of the playing area, then that would be great. Um, you know, if you're going to dress at your car, just be aware of your surroundings and be aware that the windscreens block the wind. They don't block people's view. Um, obviously, if you guys are there for 8 a.m. games, like we don't have a key for that gate. Uh, the Lake Point staff does. So if you guys do get there early and it's not open, um, you know, shoot Todd a text or something, and he'll relay it over to me, and we'll get those guys to open it ASAP. Um, aside from that, I think everything was touched upon. But um, looking forward to this year and, and appreciate everything you guys did last year.